Hi everyone, uh, good morning. I'm out in the sun, I'm Adam. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a domestic nuclear bunker inside a modern house that was built in the, I suppose it would be the Cold War era. So inside this house, it's a standard four bedroom house built in the Cold War era. Downstairs, you've got a nuclear bunker. All built as standard, even modern day properties now that are built still have them installed. Let's go take a look. So we take the main stairs down. Let's see if we get up. Balloons, big balloons. Oh. Right, light. <laughs> right, right. Down into the depths. Down one more flight of stairs. So modern day times, you can see that something like this might actually be quite fitting and you could potentially use it soon. <laughs> so here's the bunker door. It's all really thick, solid concrete. It's really deep into the ground. We're probably, what, 20 foot under the ground. So inside this door here, we've got a carbon filter as well, which filters the air. So you come in, you lock the door, sort of ring out, we'll open the door and turn the lights on. Inside, there used to be a mandatory um, thing in there that you have to have beds, you have to have rations, and you have to have water as standard in there all the time. But as time's gone on, it's been laxed. I think sometime this year, they might have to have an inspection though on it. So at the moment, they're just, it's being tidied up and then re reorganized. But I'll bring you in and have a little look. So you'd come into the bunker room. In here would be storage, so you'd have foods, waters, and everything on here. Over in the corner here, we have the air filtration system. Uh, and I think that's, is that a safe? What's that next to it? Is that a safe? No, oh, so this is to let air in. So it's a big, thick, concrete, steel door. And then next to it, it's all the air filter. It's all massive carbon filters, which get checked every so often, not as much as they used to. And then obviously you'd have beds and bits and pieces in, but this would supply for the main house. So it would be whoever the residents would be living here would all have to come down and shelter here. And every one of the flats has one for each resident. So it's quite a, it's quite a feat of uh, quite a feat of engineering. I don't think I'd want to spend a couple of weeks down here with a with a couple with a family without a toilet. And then. You've got a couple of other rooms which add on to it, which would be wash basin and things. So I suppose you just, once once, it's, once it all settles, you just, um, you'd come down and then you've got a bit more storage here. You've got a wash basin. Uh, and then you'd have a bit more storage for food and you'd have a, have a bits and pieces in here. But it's not something I'd like to overly experience. However, I'm showing you guys what's down in the basement. Um, none of the old buildings in Switzerland have it. It's only anything built in between the Soviet era, so the Cold War era. era. Uh, and you can see here, I mean, look at the thickness of that. I mean, that. I mean, I, I can only just move it. That would take at least two of you to pull that shut. Not very, yeah, uh, not very fitting, but I suppose with the threat of Russia, you might need something like this. 